wanted to do a quick little review on the SXK uh, Qbot clone. Uh, this is a clone of the collab between Monarchy and Kurtival uh, for their Qbot AIO Boro. Boro, excuse me. Um, it is the collab version of the Monarchy as 480 euros which converted to US dollars is about $515 uh, so this is a definitely a high-end uh, Boro mod uh, this is the SXK version which was 80 bucks 85 bucks shipped to the US uh, there's a couple different options available uh, it's 3D printed AIO. The quality on this SXK is exceptional. Uh, the 3D printing is exceptional. It's a very small uh, Boro. Um, I love it. I love the size of it. Uh, but again, the uh, craftsmanship from SXK on this is absolutely exceptional. Uh, the two different versions you can get, um, it's... 3D printed except for the top which has this stainless steel inlay right here uh, with your typical screw down uh, for the negative battery contact on top there. <clears throat> um, so you can get the inlay right here. You can get it engraved to where it has the monarchy engraving uh, which is $85 versus the uh, non-engraved version which is $75 so actually you can get it for 80 this version shipped 80 to the US uh, from 3F8 also it comes with these 3d printed doors which again the craftsmanship is exceptional on these um, I decided to spend an extra $25 to get these stainless steel engraved doors uh, 25 bucks for both doors total um, and you can see uh, the like I said the craftsmanship is incredible it lines up here all of the little monarchy symbols line up to the 3d printing um, they obviously used a template but it looks great they all line up with each other um, and yeah it's a great little mod um, I also Spent an extra six dollars on a clone of a monarchy tip, which was like I said, it was six bucks. I think the real monarchy tips are like seventy or eighty dollars, which is absolutely outrageous, in my opinion. Um, it does come, this is a flush nut that it comes with, um, that is engraved. Uh, like I said, the the engraving work on this is is exceptional. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's brushed before it's engraved. So in certain lights, it does get off, give off like an iridescent um, shine to it from, and that's just from the brushing process. I have some G-Shock watches where the indices on the watch are brushed a certain way which makes makes them look iridescent or give them a rainbow color which is the same as this stainless steel here it's very very high quality for the price that you're paying again i, I can't say enough so for 75 bucks for the non-engraved version in hindsight i wish i should have just spent the 10 extra dollars and got the engraved version um but i'm still really happy with it with the doors it looks really really good uh, the chip is a basic um, SX, SXK chip. It's the newer version. It has a three-digit puff counter, which I personally don't care about. Uh, it's a 60-watt uh, chip, so it goes up to 60 watts in half-watt intervals. Um, the ohm reader is right on point. Um, it's exactly what it is on any other mod. I have more high-end in mods that are not this accurate as this SXK chip, um, which is kind of sad. I have the, like I have the Stubby, which I really like the Stubby, um, but it's nowhere near as accurate as this SXK chip. 
Uh, so yeah, in all, um, this whole setup uh, is about a hundred bucks, and that's like I said with the additional doors, the device, and the Monarchy drip tip. If this was the authentic, uh, this would be. I think the replacement doors are about two hundred dollars for Monarchy. So you're looking at five fifteen. Let's just say eighty for that. That's six hundred plus two hundred for the doors. That's eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollar device. Now I I know some people, you know, have that type of money and are willing to spend it. Um, I personally I don't want to spend more than a couple to maybe three hundred dollars on a mod personally, and to me that's expensive. Um, you know, thousand dollars for a mod is just ridiculous, in my personal opinion. Um, I'll show you the inside here. Let's get the Cubot engraved. Uh, it's identical to the uh, to the real one. Um, the only difference is you see you have air holes on all three sides, which I I really like. Inside it, I have the Ghost RBTA, which I did a little little review on. I can't say enough good things about this as well. Uh, the flavor is just as good as... Uh, here is the... <clears throat> that's a RDA for vaping, uh, which is an incredible flavor RDA. This is just as good. This RBA is just as good as that RDA. Uh, and I have dozens of RDAs, and this thing is right up there with the best of them. It's exceptional flavor. Uh, so in all for this, with the Ghost RBTA, so this would be 200 as well. So with the RBA, the mod, the drip tip, and the doors, if this was all authentic, it would be $1,000 uh, plus tax and shipping. So probably 1100 bucks, 1150 this shipped was $130. So, and like I said, I mean, the quality is absolutely exceptional. It doesn't feel cheap at all. The 3D printing is exceptional. Um, I just can't say enough good things about it. You know, dealing with 3F vape, you will have to wait a couple weeks. This took 10 days from China to get here, uh, which is really not that bad. The shipping was $6. So for six bucks, you know, I've got a mod that cost me 130 bucks that looks like a 11 or 1200 dollars setup. Vapes just as well. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. If they were to close their eyes and I had the real one in this one and they took a puff off each one, they wouldn't know what was what. The only difference between the authentic is with the authentic, the screen is a couple millimeters bigger. Um, not much at all. But if you look at the pictures of the real one, you can see it's just slightly bigger. I'd say maybe that much bigger. Uh, it's barely noticeable. Uh, but yeah, any of the... If you wanted to get some authentic Monarchy um, add-ons, like some buttons or whatever, they were all fit. When you take this back door off, the buttons just pop off. So they're really easy to swap out. Um but yeah, that's it's a it's a great mod. I can't recommend it highly enough. Um, it comes in this little pouch right here, this little cool little zipper case, like all SXK. Uh, inside, you'll get one O-ring uh, and this little user manual. It's just a single piece of paper. Um, you know, there's not much to it. But that's all you get is you'll get the mod in a little pouch. Or a little baggy, uh, and that's it. But what else do you need, really? Um, great mod, can't say enough about it. If you like it, um, I definitely suggest picking it up. Very small in the hand, great hand feel. Uh, I love it. So that's it. There's a little sound for you. Great mod, peace.